not exactly had too much to jump up and down about at Forest in recent years, but after the arrival of new owners and a new manager, fans headed to the city ground with renewed optimism. Sean O'Driscoll could have been leading out Crawley. Instead, he was back in the same dugout where he finished last season, but this time in place of his old boss, Steve Cottrell. After his very brief spell down south, he was looking to get the new era off to a positive start. Randy Majewski went close to giving the home side a dream lead against Bristol City. The Robins win on this ground back in April went a long way to securing their championship status but found themselves overrun in the early exchanges. Andy Reid's teasing cross deserved better from Dexter Blackstock. In truth, this turned out to be a tight affair and the destination of the points were decided with just under 20 minutes to go. New signing Simon Cox teamed up Adeline Guadiora to put Forrest on course for their first opening day win in six years. But City are now making a habit of starting poorly. They kicked off last term with just one win in their first 11 and one win in 13 the season before that. But for the agility of Tom Heaton, the margin of defeat would have been greater. But Forrest are up and running. It was always going to be a tight, a tight game. You know, at half time, the boys were saying, "Look, one goal's going to, one goal's going to, you know, win this or lose it for you." So um, we're glad that we got the one goal. There's a lot to be be confident about. I thought it was a game that we could have won in another day, um, and we'll keep keep uh, positive and looking towards that first one. Yeah, 